The electric grid in this country, in large parts of this country, is now about a century old. And we have a grid in this country that has 3,000 separate electric utilities that are connected to each other, right? They're all connected to each other. Uh, there may be a few isolated, complete, separate grids, but most of us are connected to each other in North America, even connected to the Mexico grid, to the Canadian grid, and things like that. And so if you really look at this scenario, can one predict if something can happen, will happen? I think it is very difficult. We, we, we need to do is I think we need to invest money to reduce the probability of these things. And to modernize this grid is going to require a lot of funding, especially if you want to modernize the grid in this new fashion. But what you do is you, you want to make things more reliable, but you also want to make them resilient, right? And so resiliency means you got hit. Well, can you come back up quickly? And so you, I think the six hours, right, can you cut that six hours down to two hours, one hour, 15 minutes, one minute, one second, a thousandth of a second. So that's what technology can and should do. And, and I think that when you bring all of these technologies together, I think that that's where we need to head to. I, I mean, I, I, I think, to me, the future of the grid is, I think we have the opportunity to make the grid much, much more resilient, robust, using this DER technology, which really combines solar panels, battery electric vehicles in the future. So, I mean, I, I'm actually very excited uh, about the future. I hope that we in this country can spend on infrastructure to modernize our grid infrastructure. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.